Oh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day in my life. So I definitely need to declutter. I don't even want to show you. It's so bad. It is such a mess. And it's not just this area up here. It's literally like I just have random drawers. It was organized not too long ago. Honestly, some of this skincare, they were, you know, it was back when I was on a lot of PR lists. A lot of it has been in here for years. So we're going to go through this. We're going to donate some. I think it's going to be great. I did want to let you know that this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I like letting you guys know early on in the video. And of course, we will talk more about that later. So another thing I actually was getting done this morning before I decided I was going to do a day in the life, but I figured I'd show you anyway. I created this little template with just a bunch of squares on uh, pages on my computer. And I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want my kind of series schedule to be. The reason I felt the need to do this for my channel was because I I don't remember what video it was. I think it was my shop, my stash. And I was like, yeah, I do this every other month. And when I looked up my last like shop, my stash vanity tour video, it was literally like six months ago or four months ago, something crazy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just feel like time gets away from me. And I don't realize how long it's been since I've done videos that I like to do often, if that makes sense. So this is my tentative little schedule for those. Of course, I do way more videos than this in a month, but it's kind of my yearly series little schedule. So I was pretty proud of that. I think this is gonna help me a lot as I am sitting and planning out my March schedule right now. No peeking, no peeking. But I have had one cup of coffee. I think it is time for two. So I wanted to show you, I just popped down, like I said, to get some water and make some coffee. Last night we had my in-laws over and some other people to celebrate some birthdays. And we made this turkey taco meatloaf. It was like on the Today Show, my mother-in-law saw it, Benita, and she was like, oh my gosh, I want that for my birthday dinner. We were like, done. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It's not meatloaf meatloaf, but it, it is. And this cheese in the middle, it's all taco-y. There's like black beans. My mom can eat it because she's gluten-free and there's it's gluten-free. It was delicious. I can put the actual link to this exact one below if you're curious because, wow, it was good. Then my favorite mashed potatoes, I've made these a lot, are Martha Stewart's luxurious. I don't know why I put Martha Stewart in quotes. Her luxurious mashed potatoes, they are so creamy. The thing I don't do though, she always says to put it through a ricer. I just use a handheld mixer. I'm laughing that it's three of five stars though because I would rate it five of five. Hi, Pinocchio. He says, bye mom. Come check out the birds. The weather is like 50s today and rainy and it feels so springy. It makes my heart so happy. Where's he going? So while I'm making this coffee, I just got an email about, um, it was from like CNBC and they have like an online series called Hooked. And I realized I'd actually watched some of their videos. I don't think I realized it. You know what I mean? But they were asking permission to use like a clip from my Trader Joe's haul that I did like a month ago. I'm assuming the video is about Trader Joe's or whatever, but that's so cool. Of course I was like, yeah, you can use it. That's so cool. But what is interesting to me is that there was some other video, now I can't remember what it was, that used some of my footage in a video and never asked permission. And I don't know media law well enough to know, I mean, it's not like it was used in a derogatory way, or, you know what I mean? It wasn't that deep, but it's one of those things that I'm like, is that legal? I think it is. Like, what's the fair use law? So we're doing a quick breakfast. Tyler's gonna make some over easy eggs. Uh, he made, I'm gonna, we're gonna do some toast. Sourdough bread, made oh, from made scratch, yep. Yeah. His starter is like rocking and rolling. Yeah. You've like had it for years, years now. now, yeah. Three or four years old. It's pretty awesome. So we're putting the bread in a toaster oven and we are still loving these silicone mats. You can use like on baking sheets. This is a little cute, small baking sheet, um, but, they're so nice because like they're easy to clean. You don't feel as wasteful, but you don't have to also clean the pan. Like it solves so many problems. Yes, all you need now is a t-shirt with Bugs Bunny. So I just got out of the shower. I've been trying this Origins Ginger Souffle body cream for the past few weeks. Oh my gosh, let me show you the texture. It is the most luxurious kind of whipped body cream. feel like you don't have to rub it in much for it to finally sink into the skin. It happens so fast. It does smell like strongly of ginger. So if you don't like that, I, I, they have other like scents, I think. So I'm sitting down getting ready real fast. And I figured we'd just chat a tiny bit about some new things I'll be trying kind of, well, I want to call it a sneak peek, but the reality is 
Uh, you probably, if you watched it, I think the video will already be up by the time you're seeing this video. So if you haven't seen it yet, I will link it up in the eye and down below. But it's some e.l.f. products. So it's these little bite-sized eyeshadow palettes. I picked out Rose Water and what is that called? Cream and Sugar. I love the names of these. Literally, when I heard someone say the name of this palette was Cream and Sugar in a video, I was like, I want it. Like, I didn't even need to see it. But I'm so excited. I picked these up at the store the other day. I've also been playing with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one I have tried. The other two I haven't tried yet. Actually, today I wanted to pop by the store really fast to see if they have a couple other products I was wanting to try for this video. Um, I'm going to be filming that video tomorrow. And so it's easier if I already have the stuff I need, obviously, for the video so I don't have to go back out. So I might pop out here once I'm ready and see if I can find what I want. But I've heard really good things about the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadows. I mean, price point wise, they're a couple dollars. I mean, it's such a great price point, especially if the shadows really are as good as people are saying they are. Um, again, I haven't tried it just yet. I hope I like them. So the day I'm filming this, by the way, is a Monday and I, we kind of had a stressful weekend. Just, there were a lot of things we were doing and it was just like one thing after another. So I feel I've got literal like stress breakouts everywhere. And that doesn't happen to me very often. But I'm like, oh my gosh, like it, it's just unbelievable what stress, no matter what kind of stress, but what stress can do to you, to your body and stuff. So anyway, I just, it's interesting. Another thing I've been using is the number seven Lift and Luminate Concealer. I've been playing with, I'm enjoying it. It's not a crazy high coverage concealer. So if you're looking for that, I don't think you'll like it. But if you like a kind of medium one, that's easy to work with, hydrating for sure. I think you'd like it. I don't think it's like the longest lasting concealer you'll ever try, but I, I've been enjoying it. So I don't know if you guys ever go to the community tab, um, but if you're subscribed to me, it should show up like in your subscription feed when I post here. So like a few days ago, I asked about uploading times, when's most convenient for you guys, but I just posted, well now more than one second ago, what new drugs or products you guys want to see me try because I figure I'll get some input from you guys as well. Be trying things I wanna try and then try a few things you guys want to see me try. I just said try so many times. So we are at Walgreens right now and I am gonna pop in and pick up a few things that you guys recommended. I'm excited actually and I feel like I haven't done this in a while, just done a drugstore, just trying new drugstore makeup. It's been a few months and I'm definitely like fiending. I'm fiending for some drugstore makeup. All right, we have procured the goods. I got a little more than I think what I'll actually try in the video, we'll see. But there's just so many new things. You guys had a bunch of good ideas and then things I myself, like one thing I just repurchased for myself is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. This is one of my favorite lip balms and I used it up probably six months ago and they had a sale where it was like, every two items you buy, you get the third free. And it was like every brand. And I was like, what? So literally I was like, okay, okay. So I think I bought like nine things. Anyway, I did put a few things back because when she rang them up, they weren't part of the sale. And I was like, uh, then I'll hold off on those. But I will say Walgreens, when you go in and they have like a beauty advisor there, some parts of me get annoyed by it. I'm like, just let me shop, you know, but at the same time, they're, they're so knowledgeable. And like, if they have coupons, they're like, oh, we have this coupon you can use and just things like that, that I'm like, it's kind of a nice experience, but I'm still like 50, 50 on it. That's all. <laughs> Figured I'd show you a very quick little haul of everything. Again, I don't know if I'll be able to try all of this at the same time, but figured I'd show you. I'm really excited. I didn't even know this was a thing. These Maybelline Cheek Heat little like cream. I feel like a lot of drugstores came out with creams at the same time. So it got a little overwhelming, but I'm excited to try this one. A lot of you guys, oh my gosh, a lot of you guys have asked me to try the CoverGirl Clean Fresh, which makes sense because this is totally something up my alley. So I'm hoping I like it. Lots of requests for the Bambi eye, so I'm definitely gonna try that. I just got another shade of the Superstay uh, Matte Ink. With my Invisalign, I can't just wear regular lipstick whenever I want. I, it's just a little trickier because it gets on it. 
but if I can let something dry down like this, it works pretty well. So I got the shade 180 Revolutionary. So I'm excited to have a different shade. That's new, never seen. So I'm excited to try that. I told you about that. And then this was another one a lot of you guys asked about the Maybelline Hyper Easy liner. And I love liquid liner. I use it every day. So I'm definitely going to give that a shot. And then this Maybelline Lipstick. I like their formula. This, I think, is a new shade, 222 Flush Punch. So I've gotten a couple more hours of work done. So now I'm going to take a little bit of time and take everything out of here, I think, and then just pick out what I actually want to try and everything else is going to go. Because I think if I do this one by one, I'm going to keep everything. You know what I mean? Got our coffee. I don't know why I feel so like hesitant with this, but for some reason, I just do. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop right here. So I pulled out like two drawers of stuff. The only things I see here that I'm like, I would like to keep that I will use is the CeraVe moisturizing cream, one of my favorites. And see, this is it. I like the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream actually a lot, but they had me on their PR for a while and I just ended up just like stockpiling it, but I, I will use it, you know? Shampoos and conditioners, I, I hesitate to keep because I found something I really like, you'll hear about very soon. And it's kind of solved all of my problems. So I'm kind of at a point where I'm like, do I even want to keep them? But I do love the brand Shea Moisture and Briogeo. But like a couple of these things I know I'm not going to use. So I figured I'd bring you down a little closer so you can see. Um, I love this detangler. One of my favorites. Definitely keeping. I've been wanting to try the hairspray. I actually bought that. But like, I'm not going to use these. Probably won't use that. I don't really use these kinds of products much. This I've had for years. I need to get, I like it, but I don't, it's, it's old. I probably need to toss it. Um, I'm probably not going to use this Wander shampoo and body wash. I can go, this is my favorite hairspray. So that's a keeper. This dry spun texture spray from Bumble and Bumble is so good. A couple more, uh, the Amica dry conditioner. I don't use dry conditioner a lot. Um, I'm going to get rid of all three of these, but I think I might keep it for a bit. I like Amika hair products. You know what? I'm gonna keep get rid of these two too because I really like the ghost oil, but I've been so much more into creams that oils just aren't a part of my hair regimen, re regime, regimen. I feel like oils used to be a part of my hair care regimen, but in the past year, I've totally moved away from them. So I'm just gonna get rid of these. So this is one of six drawers. So we're just gonna start here. What I'm gonna do, this is gonna be pretty cutthroat. So, hold on to your pants because the reality is, like I said, this needs to be used up. This skincare is way too good. I did not buy the skincare. That's why I've been asked to be removed from so many PR lists because of this, this problem. Literally none of it looks like something I actually would use in my everyday life. I don't have time for masks. So when I'm being completely honest with myself, I have a few masks already in my bathroom. That's pretty much all I use. I might keep this glow recipe one, the watermelon glow. But beyond that, see, this is where I get torn because I'm like, maybe I keep this clearing one. But I, that's just it. No, because if I haven't reached for it yet and all of the times I've gone through, then I don't need any of it. Oh my gosh. So that's the rest of my drawers dumped out just for a little, uh, FYI, so far this is everything I'm keeping. So that was like hair and body care. And then the stuff I'm getting rid of. And then this is what we have left to go through. Again, same thing. I'm just gonna go through and pull out anything I think I might use in the next, I would say year. And if I'm not gonna use it in the next year, it's gotta go. Uh, I love Tatcha, so I'm always tempted to keep their products because I genuinely do like them. I mean, a lot of them I do like. So those I'm most likely going to keep. Oh my gosh. Polish Choice Omega Moisturizer, one of my favorites, definitely keeping. My favorite cleanser from CeraVe, definitely keeping. This is a brand new Drunk Elephant product I do want to try. My favorite moisturizer from Drunk Elephant, the Polypeptide Cream. Like, this is a perfect example of how long I've had some of these. The Pharmacy Skin Dew, I don't even think is made anymore. And this was a backup they'd sent me and I loved it, but now it's definitely getting old. So it's gotta go. I'm interested in trying the It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. It's like a little nighttime moisturizer. I do not go through this fast enough. The Drunk Elephant, I'm on their PR list. So this I'm gonna pass on. Someone else will be able to enjoy. But some of them like this C Firma, that's gonna go bad fast. It needs to go. Okay, this is maybe the worst discovery I'm now making. First of all, gross. This is like stained and gross. The Ordinary, I ordered these products years ago. Years ago. And so I used some of them part of the way up, 
but they've all just been sitting and I just find that so disgusting. I'm so mad at myself for that. So this and really any other ones I find should go. So this is what I'm keeping here. Still a lot, I would agree, but honestly, I'm kind of at a point where I'm like, I genuinely do want to try all of these. And most of these were very, very new, like newly sent to me or they're ones I will definitely go through like cleansers, uh, makeup removers, those I go through like freaking water. So I feel pretty good about what I'm keeping. Look at all that we are getting rid of today. It goes pretty deep here. So much skincare. So I need to sort through this and kind of pull out things that are definitely bad. I'm going to get rid of, but the rest I'm going to donate. It will be so nice. This is so great. Such a good feeling. I really don't need all of these drawers. So I probably will just get rid of one of them. Just having a quick little snack, a uh, yellow bell pepper that we honestly just needed to use up. It was starting to get weird. So I'm like, I'll just cut it and eat it. Tyler's homemade hummus we haven't had in a while. It is so freaking good. And then just, we literally had like this many leftover carrots from dinner last night. I'm like, I'll just eat them real fast. So I'm just about to head to the gym. I figured I would just show you what I'm wearing because I usually get questions. This is just an Old Navy sports bra. This top is also from Old Navy, but they don't sell it anymore. I bought it in a couple colors because I just think the ruffles are so cute. And then these leggings are from Lululemon. They're the Align ones, but they're like the cropped one. I, <laughs> these leggings are expensive. They are my favorite I've ever owned. They're high-waisted and they're just comfortable to wear and I just love them. And then I'm wearing Bomba socks and my Nike Pegasus shoes that I also love so much, especially if you have like high arches, they're wonderful. So we are done at the gym. I'm actually headed to my parents' house. They were watching Gigi today while we both worked and got stuff done. So headed to go get her and then back home and then gonna start dinner and stuff. We got your baby. Aww. Mom, that's like a classic cabbage patch. How old is that cabbage patch, would you say? Probably 35 years. Oh. During the craze when there were none available. And I knew a guy that knew a guy that knew a guy. <laughs> Dad, have you seen the office episode where the Dwight buys all of the, the toy that's gonna sell out and then yeah. sends it or pays makes parents pay well, I don't know high prices? This was a real deal. <laughs> this was a thing where people went nuts over these stupid cabbage things. Patch dolls. Every kid had to have a cabbage patch. Aww. So there were none in the stores. And they were and those that had them we're asking like hundreds of dollars for these stupid things. Well, 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 little Miss Genevieve. And she's learning crayons. We've got various sizes and shapes. But this, day, it like wipes right out the crayon, which is nice. But she's just been exploring. Okay, we are starving. What a busy day. Tyler's laying her down for right now because we kind of just trade off every night. Pinocchio just had dinner. Pinocchio, was your dinner yummy? He went on a long walk with Tyler earlier while I was getting Genevieve. And I think he had the best walk. So I've got my Dr. Zevia. Delicious. It's like zero calorie sweetened with stevia type soda. It's really good. Anyway, so as I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. If you've never heard of it, it is a meal delivery service where you get to choose between 22 chef curated seasonal recipes. I love that you can whip up dinner in 30 minutes or under typically. They even have quick recipe options that are 20 minute dinners. I also love that they have recipe cards that are so easy to follow. They lay it out step by step. So if you're someone that's not totally confident in the kitchen, this is so easy to follow. I love that it sends pre-portioned ingredients so there's less food waste. You don't have to plan what to buy at the grocery store. It's really easy to change your delivery days online. You can skip a week if you need to. You can change your food preferences online. It's so easy to do. Tonight's dinner that I'm making is the Gouda pork burgers with caramelized sriracha onion and potato wedges. This is one of our absolute favorites. I know that my husband Tyler burgers are like his actual favorite food and so once a month we typically make them and this is one of the best ones we've ever tried. The caramelized sriracha onion that you put on top of it is so delicious. So if you are interested in checking it out just go to HelloFresh com and enter my code Jessica Braun 10 to get 10 free meals including free shipping. I love Gouda cheese and I am so excited. <laughs> when I heard these were burgers, A, my favorite. Also Gouda. The Gouda also pork, favorite. I know. <laughs> I can't put into words, you guys. It's the combo. And you also make like a white creamy, like it's mayonnaise, sour cream, paprika, minced garlic, and salt and pepper. And you put it on the bottom of the burger. Oh. 
<laughs> it's like too much too good. Honestly, I might take some of that and dip the fries in that too. Ooh, ooh. You're excited. You're gonna be very excited. Let's go. <laughs> also, it's bachelor night tonight. Oof. It's the tell all. I've never even seen that, have you? You know I haven't. <laughs> making conversation <laughs> this is a <our> first date <laughs> so we i won't no spoilers don't worry but we're watching like the rose ceremony and then uh the women tell all thing and it is so interesting i've said before and i'm gonna say it again i did not care about the stupid bachelor but so many of you guys were like addicted and so i was like well we'll try it so we tried it and of course it's absolute trash television and you can't look away pinocchio what do you think? Who's going to win it all? You've watched every episode with us. So, wow. <laughs> there's a part of, again, no spoilers, but there's a part of this episode where they just basically come on and talk about uh, online hatred and, like, uh, people just being absolutely disgustingly mean to contestants, past contestants, and it was very cool that they did that because well obviously it's not going to solve the problem of you know trolls online and people saying awfully just awful things to other people I think it's important that they're starting that conversation and the bachelor I mean regardless of what you think about it a lot of people watch it I mean it is huge so I just feel like trolling and all that kind of stuff has become so rampant that uh you know there is no way to just fix it and reel it all in and but at least, you know, kind of giving a voice to those that have had so much hatred against them. I mean, my gosh. So that was very cool. That was very unexpected. Yeah, so Tyler just made some tea we're drinking. I'm. It's like the nighttime tea. We love it. We drink it most nights, at least when we have the patience to like actually turn on the water before we actually go to bed. So just relaxing. Okay, so I'm about to wash my face and go to bed. I wanted to show you guys these PJs. It's a little set from Target. I just got it and it was like in a little box they have a lot of cute pjs right now i could not believe it so if i can find these exact ones i'll link it if not i'll find the closest because they had a lot of patterns they had some with short sleeves long sleeves um like these are shorts but they had some that were pants too anyway so just fyi target right now has so many cute pjs and they're like soft and cute so i'm almost done with my water intake for the day i think i'm technically behind but that's fine it's about 10 p.m so we're definitely going to bed but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you are wanting to binge some vlogs just like today's vlog, I will link my playlist up in the eye and down below. You can just watch straight through if you want. I've got a lot. I do these at least once a month typically. I love you all. Thanks for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I do three videos a week on my channel, beauty and lifestyle and home focused and vlogs, of course, too. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.